Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today we're back on Red Dead Redemption 2. And today I wanted to share with you guys how to find and kill the legendary wolf. You have to be very careful with this guy. He's very quick, very dangerous, and will take you out no problem if you're not careful. Uh, you need to be very, very quick when trying to take this guy out. Make sure that you do have Deadeye because he will come after you very very quickly so uh, first off this guy is actually located on the north end of the map just northwest of Fort Wallace and south of the Indian Reservation in Katora Springs you guys will see here on the map if you zoom in uh, your first clue once you get into this area and it pops up on the screen letting you know that you are in the area of a legendary animal your first clue is gonna be just off the main path around all the holes with water in them in the ground you wanna search that area once you search that first clue you're gonna find wolf dung then you're going to be able to go to your second clue. You want to head southwest about 50 yards, uh, and it's going to be next to a giant rock. Again, this is a big open area, not too difficult to find these clues. There's not a lot of uh, stuff on the ground that's blocking your view. So again, head southwest about 50 yards. You'll find uh, some wolf fur next to the giant rock there. Once you inspect the wolf fur, it's going to lead you to your third clue. You're going to want to turn around and head northeast for about 50 yards as well. Uh, the clue is going to be in the dirt area there, and it's going to be a carcass. You won't be able to miss it. It's a giant carcass that looks completely destroyed just laying there in the middle of the dirt. Once you find this third clue, as you're inspecting it, you want to be very, very careful. You guys will see in my gameplay, this wolf can smell you from very, very far away and will come after you immediately. Uh, as you guys saw, right after I inspected the carcass, you want to head towards the east uh, around 75 yards. You guys will see as soon as you turn east, you'll probably see the wolf all the way down there and he'll probably see you. Uh, when I went to kill him, I moved in just a little bit and he came right after me. He came quick and I was not prepared. He actually got a few bites off on me. Unfortunately, I had enough health and, uh, and I had dead eye to slow him down for a little bit. It took me four shots with a rifle to kill him. As you guys will see in the video, I believe I hit him twice uh, in the body. So I had two headshots and two body shots. Took me four shots to kill him. I believe it's three if you land all the headshots. Um, but again, if he comes after you, then you really just start shooting and hoping that you're hitting him. Uh, you might miss the head a few times, especially if he starts running. But having that dead eye is going to be very, very crucial with this guy. Something that I might recommend doing is actually getting him to come after you and using the dead eye. Uh, for some reason, my dead eye just went away really, really quick, and I was freaking out because I, was, I wasn't expecting him to come running at me. So uh, I would get his attention, get him to start running so that all you do is have an open headshot, use that dead eye, and just pop four shots off. And, and again, like I said, it should only take three if you land every shot to the head. But again, guys, you want to be very, very careful with the wolf. He is very, very big, very fast, and very strong. He'll take you out, no problem. So again, guys, please be careful. But if you guys have any questions, maybe you're struggling trying to find him or kill him or you're having problems, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below i'll be sure to try and help some of you guys out make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next video